testing my own mic to make sure that this works all right. It does. Yay. <laughs> Don't ask, okay? I do weird tests. <laughs> At that, I think there's something caught in my throat, but eh, I'll make do. Thonikamara. My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist to mature, and we're back with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Last time, we, uh, may have gotten dropped through a void of some type, or what have you. The TLDR is, turns out Duskull's not exactly a great person. who to thunk? But anyways, we've done all our pre-prep and everything, we're just gonna be heading into the dungeons now. You ready, Casey? As ready as I'll ever be. This is the second, if I remember correctly, quote-unquote, runaways section of the game. Hello, Saya! Hope you're doing well! Welcome to Mystery Dungeon Haberdashery. <laughs> but yeah, this being the second runaways section... We're not going to be getting too many breaks, if any, between dungeons. It's just going to be rapid fire, rapid fire, all the dungeons in the world. Until you pass out. Or succeed. Up to you. You're holding an item. How did I fill up that quickly? <laughs> Pokemon, but they rose up against their human oppressors. If only, if only. This is actually explained to be an alternate world type thing. Like, Pokemon actually do have some semblance of technology in this world. It, mind you, it's semi-medieval, but it's still something. Credit where it's due. If you look in the right places, Pokemon can cook. They can juice berries. Oh! And I forgot Drifloon and Drifblim and other Pokemon like them exist. Uh. <laughs> so, what just happened right there? If you're familiar with the ability Aftermath, let's just say that it changed in terms of how it works for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Normally, Aftermath deals damage to the Pokémon that felled the person with Aftermath in the first place. Here, it's not just damaging them, they explode. And by explode, I mean they will take out walls that happen to be nearby. Pokémon with Aftermath and similar can be very dangerous to encounter in a dungeon. Be careful, keep your distance when possible, and if you can't, make sure to have some healing items. Ornberries don't look like it, but they make for pretty good band-aids. Ooh, money. Mine. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Saya. Eh. Magnemite? No. Sit down. Think about what you did. Floating up to me and trying to tackle me in the face. Oh, this could be a problem. So far doing all right. Had some chicken, a few fries, enough to eat for now. Maybe if I want to do some snacking later, I will, but eh. Skarmory. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Toasty. Another Skarmory. Blast seed. That's something to consider. Problem is, I don't really have the inventory space, and I kind of want to keep this embargo, because it's going to be at least a little bit of cash. I guess I'm chewing an apple. Yum. And up here? Oh, another apple. I just ate one of these, game. I already ate in real life, too. 
Fine, I'll eat it. Yum. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but in Mystery Dungeon, um... Yeah, I think we're gonna be encountering a lot of doctors. Ah, no. Magnemite, what did I tell you? <laughs> Eight, but like way too much? Oh. Those moments kind of blow. It's like, you want to go up and do something, and then you're like too full to move at all. It's frustrating. Siliana, can you take this? Nice. <laughs> Completely floored. Well, yeah, I mean, having a full stomach is always a nice feeling. Tasty food. And now you have some entertainment if you want to stick around for that. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, granted, I don't exactly need this many Ross berries, so chew one for now. Fill my gut by another five. Because the blast seed is going to be a little more useful. Nothing there. Nothing there. Three dead ends. And a burning grumpig. And suddenly I want roast pork. But I already ate! Your Driplin. Oh, that's a problem. There's the explosion. Ouch. Okay. What to use to open up space? Um, I don't really have great options across the board. I mean, I guess I could heal back Celia. She's gonna need the HP. That aftermath did a number on her. There's the exit. And more apples than I know what to do with. Just eat. Oh, right, I forgot. Overeating was a thing. <laughs> like, uh... If you happen to eat... Specifically anything in the apple family. When your hunger is at 100. Then you can, for the dungeon, increase your maximum hunger. I believe for a basic apple, it's by 5. A large apple, it's by 10. And a perfect apple, yes, those exist, by 20. Or is it a golden apple? One of the two. So many boxes. You know what? I don't need a drought orb. Because in the long run, these boxes are going to have quite a bit of supplies within them. Mind you, we wouldn't be able to open them for right now, so I at least need to get to the end of the dungeon. I'm out of ember. I'm out of ember. That's a problem. You know what? I'm full. <laughs> Just pass on the apple. Because... <laughs> Game. Game? I already said I ate. I don't need any more food. I do want that power band, though. Having an extra surplus... Having a surplus of those might actually be a good idea. Maybe I should pass on it, just in case. Cross-Eye Seed. Not gonna be good to use that. And two sleepy Pokémon, which I should probably leave alone. Ha! Joke's on you, Grumpig! I only use physical attacks! I said, I only use physical attacks! You're supposed to... Whatever. Whatever. It's done. It's done. Nothing to worry about. Um, 
then over there. You are uh, completely enraged. Oh, good. Exit. This is going by speedily. Look, Casey. Is that the exit over there? Let's go check it out. Did we get some distance over those sable eye? We should rest a little. There's water. What? Th th this waterfall. It's not flowing one bit. The gushing water is totally suspended in space. Was Grovile right after all? Has time really stopped in the future? And why did Dusknoir bring us here? The great Dusknoir who was so kind to us. Ugh. I don't know what to believe anymore. If only there were some way of finding the truth. Wait, I know. There is a way of getting at the truth, Casey. Your scream. Use the dimensional scream. Touch the frozen water. Who knows? Maybe you'll see something. Oh, okay. Might as well. It could give us some clues about what's happening. We shouldn't waste any time. The Sable Eye will catch up to us. Just give it a tap and let's go. How's it going? Can you see anything? No. Nothing. That's a disappointment. It would have been nice to know what was happening. But I guess we're gonna have to make do. We've got a lot of time here. But if we don't hurry, the Sable Eye will catch up to us. Let's get ready and go. Let's drop those in storage, as well as all the boxes that we've been picking up. The embargo. I guess I could deposit two grimy food. And we're off to our second dungeon. A slumber orb. I like this music. Oh, right. Ghost types. Yeah, ghost types are going to be fairly common in these next several dungeons. And what makes them even more unfair is they have a special trait to them. They can pass through walls. The average Pokemon can't. And even if... is Even in the situations where you can, it's going to be at a drastic sacrifice. Specifically, there's an orb in the game that lets you traverse through any terrain. But it also drastically increases your hunger. And by that, I mean you use more food! Rude. Rude little trap, ain't you? You use more food to traverse the terrain. And hell, even when you get the ability All-Terrain Hiker, which lets you traverse more terrain than usual, it's not necessarily going to let you pass through walls. Ooh, Energy Ball. That's a really handy one. Yeah. I think that's a gravel rock over there, too! Knock it off, you. Yep, gravel rock. Cool. Yeah. The other frustrating part about having to deal with Pokémon inside walls, you can't attack them until they come out. It's a very dangerous situation to be in. Having to deal with a Pokemon attacking you when there's nothing you can do. And on top of the on top of that, Spite. A good chunk of these ghost Pokemon have the move Spite, 
which will slowly start to mill out your power points. I would recommend having some max elixirs just in case. But just because you have max elixirs doesn't mean that they can save you. Hmm. I'll forget Ember. Because in the grand scheme of things, Flamethrower is going to be our new go-to. It's also our first instance of a move that can actually target in a line. Quick Attack we're very well familiar with, thanks to Celiana, but... While it is useful, it can only attack two tiles away. Flamethrower can attack, I believe, up to eight in a single direction? And it can attack from very far away. Granted, it is restricted in that you can only attack in, diag in like, straight lines. But even then, that's a minor sacrifice. Especially since any attack that can attack in a straight line could also cut corners by default, so... Really, really handy. Eee! Okay. <laughs> you a rook or something? A rook and a bishop may as well. Also, hello. Hope you're doing well, chainsaws. Wait a tile, and burninate you. Ooh, a Vile Seed. If you're ever fighting a very dangerous enemy, or hell, a boss Pokémon even, Vile Seeds. Very, very handy. They minimize the Pokémon's defense when they eat them. Oh, crap. That's bad. I'm gonna need to meet back up with, uh, Celia quick. Just so I can get back the lost item. Oh, good. You gotta be kidding me! Two traps?! All of them around the- All of them around the entranceway to this room. That's... Wonderful game. Thank you. That's wonderful. Jeez. that back to Celia, because she's going to need it. Oh, you... Okay, fine. Fine. Nothing I can do about you until you come out of the friggin' wall. Actually, now there's something I can do. Burn. Welcome to the wonderful world of Flamethrower. Granted, on the Grass-type side, you can also gain Razor Leaf, which also really, really useful. I know that. You could also gain access to Petal Blizzard, I believe, which... Room Clearing. Really, really nice. But even then, for the most part, any starter that you pick is going to have some really good techniques to use at many points in the game. And even if they don't, then your partner can usually cover you. Which is a good thing. Toasty. And there's an item here. Standard Petra Berry. Kinda eh. Might as well eat it. Just cap up my HP. Well, not HP hunger. Dang. Get rid of you. And so you can see on the map. Oh, shoot. I'm out of power for that. Oh, well. I guess I have been being a little too liberal with the flamethrowers, but hey, can you blame me. Celia, what are you doing? This is a Gly score. That doesn't 
Levitate. Okay, I'll eat my words. Nice work, kid. Nice work. <laughs> Ooh, protect. That's gonna be real handy. Yeah, she's been suffering in terms of moves quite a bit. I should keep this Protect TM. Let's burn a Radar Orb, just to open up space. Ooh, an Apple. Chew on that. Back up a bit to give myself a better position. And eat the cladle. Of course it's a slow trap. On the bright side, exit's right here, so it's not too much to worry about. A Jiggle Drain TM? I think I want that. Desclops, get over here, please. Thank you. Oh, pressure. I don't like that. Mmm. Of course it's pressure. Eat a rock. There we go. All these TMs are going to be very useful. If not for money, then hey, teach it to a Pokemon. Blah. Hell, like, if I were actually not playing this for NLP and not just going with the first Pokemon I was given, uh, I would totally be using a grass type with Jiggle Drain. I like being a nerd. Can you blame me? Oh, you total waste of. Autonomous technology. This desk lops. This desk lops. I hate curse so much. <laughs> Celia, you could take down that clade, all right? Not if you use that. Uh... <laughs> Adorkable. Yeah, that that sounds like a niche I'm trying to aim for. No, actually, I I would try to aim for that niche. Just. I don't know how to explain it, to be honest. Just... It's nice hearing someone prattle sometimes about dumb things and just generally trying to be a... more funny than they actually are. Oh my god. Haunter, please. Stop. I need my PP. I know what I said. Gliscor. Okay, um, there we go. Or not. Uh, die, please. Thank you. And gone. <laughs> Just like seeing me react to attention. Eh, it's. There's an audience for it. Besides, I don't mind it either.
Go away, Gliscor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that first. Because on the one hand, I could say, yay, I'm adorable, I guess. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Non-malicious. Obviously. Ah! Haunter, do I look like a sucker to you? You didn't have to deck me. Small spirit! <laughs> Now I'm completely at a loss for words. <laughs> Celia, no running away, please. Oh, I hate this. What do I have to deal with this? Um, blowback. Wait for the desk lobs to advance a tile. Might wanna. Just so I could spit in its face. And now to deal with you. That worked well. Vesselia, switch off. Vesselia? Oh. Well, this is a problem. Yeah, I'm running out of power on everything as I predicted. Oh, good. Thought. Nope! Vesselia! <laughs> I thought you were. Eh. Uh. There's a limit to how uh, klutzy a person can be. And then there's a moment like this that just cements it. Mm. Just, mmm. Yeah, at this rate, I I am a full-on dork. I'm not afraid to admit it. In multiple respects of the word. Another energy ball. Do I look like I'm made of grass type? Sadly, no. Actually... Here, I'll see. I have all the TMs I've got. Apparently, someone can learn focus pu the focus punch, but no thank you. Oh, then you have no idea what types of reactions come out of my mouth. I've had some really weird ones in the past. Like, to some respect, I'm actually convinced that my mod- that my mod just specifically tries to go out of her way to make sure that I have some type of weird reaction to something. Muffin's a wonderful person. <laughs> Why? 
What comes out? No idea. What goes in? Oh my. I need an adult. No, no, wait. I am an adult. Okay, I need a better adult. <laughs> Automod, what are you doing? Allow that. That's not too bad. It could be worse than that. Astonishing! It's a Dusclops. Looks like the rocks. Something. Arr! And Sully is in a panic. Oh, good. You know what, Sully, you sit over there. Think about what you're doing. <laughs> Dusty boys! <laughs> Evidently, there's quite a bit of dust here. Pure seed. Now, I could mill that. Just get me out of this floor, but... I'm not 100% sure... I'm not 100%... Wow, tongue. I don't fully remember how long this dungeon is, and if I use the focus, blech, if I use the pure seed to just get me out of here, that could be both good and bad. Because on the one hand, yay stairs, but on the other hand, it's only gonna put me on the same floor as the stairs, not necessarily next to them. One and two. Ugh, you know what? Screw it. Just eat it. Get me out of here. Oh, that's a problem and a half. No. I refuse to lose this bow. It makes me pretty. It also bolsters my stats. I refuse to abandon it. Is right with the world. Yeah, just chew an apple. Okay, is keeping Cilia topped up on HP is going to be fairly useful? Because as is, she's out of power. And that was one of the things that I was considering about the... Uh, uh about the pure seed. Because as it stands, she's going to be milling her HP fast. Finding the exit takes priority. Oh good, finally! 